Silas is the new winter wildcard in FIFA 23. Now, before we get into this video, guys, I just want to say Happy New Year to you all. It's been a great year for my YouTube success, and it's been a great year in terms of football and FIFA generally, other than maybe the start of this game until we've got League SBCs. And so, guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support as we move into 2023. It's been a great year for me personally, and uh, I intend to keep growing. I hope you guys keep enjoying the content as well. We're back to reviewing on PS5 and PS4. We're going to start off on PS5 here today. And we're playing with our 4 3 1 2 tactics with Silas at right striker. So, if you want to go check out them tactics in detail? Make sure you go to the channel. It's on the channel in the last like few days. So, I think it's like the last last video or so. So, make sure you go check that out, guys. With that being said, though, Silas is the newest SBC. Now, of course, this is an interesting card. It's only 85 rated, but it's going to cost you only an 84 rated squad of an inform and one Bundesliga player. Of course, Silas has five star skills. He's got that three-star weak foot, high medium work rate. He is right footed, six foot two, 95 for pace, 88 for dribbling, 85 for shooting, 78 for passing, and for physical. We have 60 defending, which actually isn't that bad. And you know, it's an interesting card. Bundesliga, which makes him quite hard to link. Um, Bundesliga players aren't that good this year, so we're playing him on two chemistry. And as we move into the attributes, he's got some really, really cool stats. He's got 93 acceleration with 96 sprint speed, 91 attack position with 92 finishing. And 84 shot power. Poor long shots and volleys and okay penalties or good penalties at 90. Passing is all right as well with 75 vision. 84 crossing, 90 short pass and 75 curve, which is a little bit low. Agility is really good at 92. Balance is okay at 80. Kind of similar to Ronaldo in that regard. Reaction is a little bit low at 77. Ball control is okay at 85. Dribbling really good at 92. Composure a little bit low at 76. His defender stats aren't that bad actually. With 62 interceptions, 61 defensive awareness, and 58 standing tackle. He's got 81 strength and 83 stamina, so not too bad overall. In terms of alternates, he can also play right mid and left mid, of course, as well as striker, which is the one we're playing him on. And yeah, he's quite hard to get on full chem, so we're playing him on two. And we're going to go across the foot bin and take a look at chem styles for the man. All right, guys, so as we come across the foot bin, you can see he's coming in at 45,000 coins with some really cool stats. And because we're playing him on two chemistry, we're going to look at two chemistry now. If you've got a full Bundesliga team, we'll have a look at the, the free chevrons for chemistry as well. But for me, I'm playing them on two. And the first thing that sprung to my mind when I looked at the card was a Hawk. To boost up that shot power, get him up to 97 pace, 88 shooting there. 80 physical, so up to 83 strength. 88 rated striker with the Hawk applied. Engine is also not bad at all. But the agility and balance, really nice there. Uh, and the finisher is probably going to be quite good for him as well. The finisher is really nice for him actually. Up to 96 agility and 82 balance with 99 dribbling. Um, and if you really are concerned about the reactions, you can always go for a maestro to boost them up, as you can see there. Kind of a bit of a waste of the card, but it's nice for the reactions. I'm personally thinking, for me though, and the two chemistry, I think I'm going to go with an engine on him. If you're going to play him on free chemistry, if you're able to do that, the engine is also a really good chem style, as you can see there. Really good passing there, really good short pass, really good crossing and okay vision with great dribbling, agility and balance. And then... I think the Hawk, once again, is really good if you're going to play him on free cam. Up to 85 strength there, 99 sprint speed and 97 acceleration with great shot power finishing and attack positioning. A marksman, once again, also not too bad on this card. Reaction boost there as well, which is really, really nice. A marksman might even be good for two cam. Uh, yeah, the marksman's actually really good for two cam as well. I might change to a marksman now I've seen that. I probably would play a marksman on him if he was on free cam as well, guys. So I think we found our chem style. I'm going to go with a marksman. Let's get to a few games of PS5. Then we'll move on to PS4 and review this card. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount. All right, guys. Into the game we go with Silas. Let's see what we can do. I think my um, instructions are messed up. Or my like formations messed up. It, like I went into a game just then. The guy rage quit straight away, which is just really annoying. This guy's got... Oh, my God. Oh, he's got a good team. Apart from Haaland... Mbappe, Lucio, World Cup. That's a really nice team. With Virgil at the back as well. Good test this for Silas. Very good test. Let's see what we're up against. So let's get into the game. All right, come on then. Okay, Silas. Okay, Silas. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, man. He feels quite heavy. Sorry? No chance that they brought that back that far. Where is Silas? I want him to jump over it. Oh, it's not even going to let me, is it? 
Ooh, that's unlucky, man. He was really nice on the skill moves, but he does feel a little bit heavy on uh, PS5. Yeah, he, he feels really heavy when you're, like, turning with him and stuff. Of course, I know that's a little bit of an issue on new gen just regardless, but, man, he does feel heavy. Oh, Harland with his lengthy meta. Oh, I miss the lengthy meta, actually. I actually really, really do, but we've got Randolph in net as well with that nice kick. Is it kicking? I think he's got really good kicking. Nice, good football there. Take it nice and slow into Polinia there. Little one into De Bruyne. No, look. No, it's not right, man. We got away with it, though. Oh. oh, man. He is not good over here. He just does not feel very good. Maybe I need to change the way I'm playing with him. Um, I personally don't think we're doing the right things with him so far. Yeah, he even feels lengthy. I like his running. It's just when you're like trying to like turn with him, he's a bit stinky. Nice. That's a really nice pass that too. A oh, out. Oh, that Lucio's too good, isn't he? He's got Pyatt as well, which is another awesome winter wildcard SBC. I like where he's dropping there though. Back into him. Good touch. Did you see that there? Like, if I could show you my controller, I done that fake shot stop after the first touch. I don't know what that's all about, really. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's just because it's on uh, new gen that he feels so heavy. But he does feel heavy, man. He's got a great first touch on him, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This card might be better utilised as, like, a wide player. The kind of situations I'm getting in and this positioning, he looks like he'd be better as, like, a, a wide option. This guy is playing really strange as well. Fair play to him. Go on, Polinia. Nice. Well in. In Silas. We go back there. See how wide he is as well. It's like I haven't switched formation. He does seem to love dropping very, very, very wide. Well, not drop wide. Just starts playing wide. And I'm on stay central with him too. Oh, my God. This game. Go on, in Silas. Bangs it. Oh, it's a good finish from him. He's good on the stepovers. His stepovers feel really powerful. And of course, with stepovers being like so meta this year, it's nice that he feels so powerful on them because he's got a bit of upper body strength as well. Here we go again. Stepovers again from the man. Oh my God. Silas! Oh, he's got to score that. Got to score that really, hasn't he? That's poor. That is poor. Who are our options here then? Ah, uh, nice collar. Little one in there. Win that. Oh, Silas. Silas. Silas! Oh my God, he's shooting this woeful. I've aimed that near post. I swear to you guys, I've aimed that near post. Sorry about the head glitch as well. I do apologise. Right, another one into Silas there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, oh yes, what a goal that is, guys. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. All right, then, guys, so game number four with Silas. Now we're on old gen. Let us see what we can do with this man. I'm excited, man, because on PS5, he was heavy, but his skill moves felt really sharp, and, of course, his step overs were really nice as well. So I'm very interested to see how he performs over here because on old gen, it's a lot more about tight dribbling and stuff like that. So this guy's already paused it. Is that a new Jesus? Nice, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. Come on in. Here's Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Into De Bruyne. Nice. Good play there. Into Silas straight away. Silas with a sprint boost. Felt, felt nice there. Oh my god, he's a bit glitchy, isn't he? Oh my god, so is that though. Nice from Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Good football, this. Silas. Silas! Oh, his finishing's a bit poo. Guys, this dude's pause it. I'll bring you back. All right, guys, bringing you back now. We've got corner. Now, I guess this guy made a substitute. He's brought on Renier. Very interesting there. Let's send that back down there. That is to Silas as well. It's a good first touch into the space. Oh, oh my God. Oh, his finishing is letting him down, man. To get into that position is incredible, but the finish is just so poor, isn't it? Go on, Silas. Oh, man. Oh, man. Silas, on your weak peg. Mm, I know I've read that, but generally, guys, his finishing is quite stinky. 
Um, that's what I have to say so far. I'm not impressed with his finishing at all. That could be a bit of a weak link to the card. You know, he doesn't feel bad over here, which I thought he was going to, like in terms of dribbling. Does not. Oh man, that's nice from him. Who's he got down there? Robertson. But this guy's essentially using like a full winter wildcards team by the looks of it. That's poor from me. Really poor. Dummy as well. Nice Polinia. It's gone into Silas here as well. And there he goes. I'm up against Poyo. Go on in Silas. All that pace, my son. Yeah, he feels really good over here. Really good. Nice. JJ. Nice football. Really nice football. Into Silas. Oh my god, his finishing is letting him down chronically. Really, really bad finishing. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh no, and his passing too. Oh, this is a strange card because I actually really like him. I think he's actually a very good card. But he's letting us down a lot with his finishing and stuff. And his passing. Of course, that freestyle weak foot is not the best, is it? He's done him again, though. A cocha. Oh, my God. I just can't score. Playing good FIFA as well. Oh, oh dear. What's he got here? It's good dribbling from him. But, yeah, guys. Good card. Bad finisher, though. Really bad finisher. Oh, my God. How have I not got the ball back there? Oh, not Benz. No. I'll defend the collar. Nice. We're in. We're in. We're in. Oh, it's got to be a foul, ref. Have a look, son. Have a look, pal. Oh, it's just into Silas. Okay, guys. I'll bring back some highlights. Hold on. Hold on. Silas. Silas! Oh, it's another save. This is going in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, every time, guys. This is a really, really good card, but a really, really bad finisher. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh, my God, man. He just glides for everyone. This card is so good at dribbling. Oh, my God, guys. His finishing is so bad, but he is actually so good. Into him again. Oh, he feels so fast. That's unlucky. So another chance. Another bite at the cherry. Silas. Good finish that time as well. 2-0. Silas. Sprint boost. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, do you know what? This card is a monster. He's actually so sick. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to show you that anyway. His skill moves feel so good. Oh, Silas. Oh, my God. What a goal. All right, guys. So, four games played with Silas. Five goals and one assist. He is definitely, definitely, definitely better on old gen than he is on new gen. But he's still very good on both. The thing I like about him on new gen or the current gen, I should say, is he's got a lot of power and he's very, very strong as well. Yes, he's insanely fast, and that is probably one of the best things about him. But the pace mixed with the good strength makes him a unit on, on new gen, um, in my personal opinion. He's got 92 finishing, does not feel like that, and that goes for both generations. He feels a bit poor finishing-wise, as you'll see via the clips that we do show you. But he is still a great card. I think you know 45k for this card, if you don't fit him into a starting team, a great super sub. Of course, you'll be wary of that three-star weak foot. But he's still insanely good in game. Um, really, really fast, really powerful and raw. And he feels so good with skill moves. Even though he's only got 90, sorry, 80 of balance and 77 reactions, of course, we boosted that with the marksman. Only by two, though. His skill moves are insane. He feels very similar to like a gold Ronaldo of years past, apart from the shooting. He feels really, really silky, really strong. And I really do look at this card as like a B Tech Ronaldo, or even maybe a better Ronaldo this year. They play very, very similar. Uh, really good passing on the, the short passing side of things. Do not pass with his weak foot. Do not try and do cutbacks with his weak foot, as you will struggle there. But I think he's a really good SBC to complete. You know, at 40k, um, he just reminds me a lot of Ronaldo, honestly, Cristiano Ronaldo. And I know that sounds crazy, but he really, really does. Same kind of body frame, same body type, six foot two, 
feels so, so fast as well, man. I can't stress that enough to you guys. New gen and old gen feels ridiculously fast. I think he's a little bit better on old gen because of his dribbling. He felt really, really heavy on new gen, um, but not at all on old gen. Really good left stick dribbling, really good shot cancels, and so on and so forth on old gen. And his sprint boost was okay on both as well, which is nice to see. I'm going to give him a rating on new gen at a 7 out of 10. I'm going to rate him an 8.5 out of 10 on old gen, guys. Go and pick this one up. If you can't fit into your main team, a great superstar for you. Guys, I wish you a very happy new year, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.